Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Larry Levis from his collection Winter Stars, published by University of Pittsburgh Press in 1985. Um, this poem comes through from about midway through the collection. It's entitled, Though His Name is Infinite, My Father is Asleep. When my father disappeared, he did not go into hiding. In old age, he was infinite, so where could he hide? No, he went into his name. He went into his name and into the way two words cape house, each syllable swept clean again when you say them. That's how my father left, and that's how my father went out of his house forever. Imagine a house without words. The family, speechless for once, at the kitchen table, and all night a hard wind ruining the mottled skin of plums in the orchard, and no one lifting a finger to stop it. But imagine no word for house, or wind in a bare place always, and soon it will all disappear, brick and stone and wood, all three are wind, when you can't say house, and know any more what that it is what it is. Say, father then, to no one. Or say, my father was himself a house. Or say, each word's a house, some lit and some abandoned. Then go one step further and say, a name is a home, as remote and as intimate. Say, home, then. Or say, <clears throat> I'll never go home again. Or say, years later, with that baffled, ironic smile, I'm on my way home. Or say, as he did not, I'm going into my name. Go further, take a chance and say, a name is infinite. Repeat all the names you know, all the names you've ever heard, the living and the dead, the precise light snow of their syllables. Say your own name. Or say a last name. Say mine. Say his. Say a name so old and frayed by common use it's lost all meaning now, and sounds like a house being swept out, like wind when there's no house. Say, finally, there's no way to document this or describe the passing of a father, that faint scent of time, or how he swore delicately, quickly, against it, without ever appearing to hurry the ceremony of swearing, and say, too, how you disliked and loved him, how he stays up all night now in two words, how his worn-out infinite name outwits death when you say it, and say, finally, how the things he had to do for you humiliated him until he could not get his breath and say how much they mattered, how necessary he was. And then, before sleep, admit also that his name is nothing, light as three syllables, lighter than pain or art, lighter than history, and tell how two words that mean nothing to anyone else once meant a world to you, how sometimes even you, in the sweep of those syllables, wind, crushed bone, and ashes, begin to live again. Uh, that was the amazing Larry Levis, and uh, the poem was, Though His Name is Infinite, My Father is Asleep. Um, phenomenal poet, wonderful poetry. Uh, this book alone is an amazing gift to us, and he wrote a great deal. So I encourage you to check out his work. Please uh, read the description of this video for more information about Larry Levis and about where to find his work, uh, where to purchase this book and other books, um, as well as more information about this series. Uh, <coughs> I, uh, I put out new content every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. If you, uh, if you like what you're hearing, please consider subscribing to the channel, hit the bell icon. Uh, and you'll be notified every time there's a new video that's up. Um, and if you like uh, this poem and this video, this reading, um, please give this video a thumbs up as well. 
Um, in general, if you have suggestions or, or ideas for other poems or poets that I can tackle on this issue or this, uh, this series, please feel free to comment below. Uh, make your suggestions by email or directly below in the comments or other ways that you can reach me. Um, I'm always open to ideas and always looking for ways to support writers out there. Um, especially if you yourself have a new book that's forthcoming or recently out and would like to be featured, please do reach out to me. Um, I'm Neil Aiken. This is the Hermit Poetry Series, and we'll be back again soon with more poetry. Uh, until then, take care, stay safe, stay well, stay healthy, and uh, keep reading and writing. And we'll be back again uh, soon with more work and more readings. Uh, until then, um, well, <laughs> until then, just be good and keep writing. We'll be back. Bye.